Hey everybody, I'm Crow. Welcome back to Faster Than Light. Last time on Faster Than Light, we were horrifically disappointed by the Yankees' existence. And so, we bought all the fuel and we fixed our stuff, and then there wasn't really much else to go on, so we left disappointed. It's basically life right now. What a waste. How do I have all of this scrap and nothing to do with it? You arrive near a small fleet of civilian Yankee ships. A simple decryption and translation of their com frequency tells you that they're having a frantic discussion that you can't do anything with because you don't, you're not an Angie. You know what? We, we, I'm just gonna max it. Woo! We still have 251. I can still get to double shields immediately, almost triple shields. Once you arrive, your screens light up with warning signs. A nearby pirate seems to have advanced hacking tools, and they tried to shut down your engines. Ah, my evasion. Well, we can stop your weapons from charging all together. I just want to wait for them to get, like, almost firing. You hit me anyway because I only have 70% evasion. But you can't charge up your weapons like this. That sucks. Yeah, I'd rather, I'd rather hit these three. Is it going to be enough for us to fire again? Wait, it's 15 seconds. It's totally enough. Thank you guys for not sucking. Yes! Go ahead, try and fix things in time. You will fail! See? That's what it looks like when you fail. Dead. Pirate ship destroyed, your ship's systems is restored to full functionality. You salvage what you can. Salvaging what you can pretty much amounts to fuel. You enjoy fuel. Fuel keeps you alive. Oh, the terrible losses when you don't have fuel. Because then the Rebel Advance catches up, and then they're just like, Hey, so I heard you like anti-ship batteries, and I'm like, No, not really, please leave. And they're like, No, you leave. And then I was like, I thought you'd never ask. A ship refueling station is stationed at this beacon. We can purchase fuel here. I won't say no to fuel. I kind of got to get out of here now. How did we make it to Sector 4 without shields? You have the long-range beacon. The area shows signs of some battle. We'll examine it. The dock with the station... You Or you dock with the station to take a look inside. However, no sooner do you open the airlock than pirates burst in. Meanwhile, scanners pick up previously undetected pirate ship, moving into attack. Why have I not upgraded my door system yet? So... I'm gonna need you to help. We can deal with our guns. I can't deal with our dying. It is just a Zoltan, but it's going to explode. We're gonna dodge this. Now that they've shot and they can't shoot again, you're gonna help. We're gonna fight them three on one. It's a fair fight now. Bloop, bloop. And... Hit the shields. But you must escape! You killed... Why did you shoot the... No! Oh. Was that the pilot? Okay, it wasn't the pilot. It was the weapons person. But still, that's gonna have a lot on our weapons effectiveness. This didn't really go as I planned. No! You killed... Wow, Joel wasn't the first one to die. You killed whoever that person was that died. It was a that, that person was a valuable member of our crew and stuff, and we totally appreciate them. Nah, I'm gonna just shoot there. Yeah, I'm gonna just shoot there. I should have paused more. I could have gotten him into the oxygen room before that explosion went off. I was only looking at his health. Zoltan homeworlds! Oh boy, super shields! You arrive in Zoltan space. You also completely upgrade the doors. Because you don't have anyone in this room either. Now that those doors are completely upgraded... I know, I know, I know, I know, I know I could have fought in the med bay. 
but they would have just broken everything else and not followed me. I guess I could have vented the oxygen out then, but I feel like they would have broken this, and then I wouldn't have been able to fight back in time, and then I would have just gotten shot anyway, because of how far away the med bay is. I guess you could oxygen out from here as well, so that would help to get this. Hmm, I don't know. Either way, it was probably almost certainly my fault. Despite their precautions, pirates have begun to harass the local Zoltan settlements across the sector. One such pirate spots your ship and moves into attack. See, we made it to Sector 4, so now they're going to have double shields, but we also don't have good enough weapons to really handle this. So life is kind of suck right now. Thankfully, they have that, and they don't really know how to use it. So we'll stop you from doing any real damage to us, and then just hope this hits twice. It hits twice! Bleep. Oh, yeah, because they barely have enough for double shields, that will actually knock Alara's shields out. I hope we're able to fire again and knock those out. Ooh! If we could keep these down, that would just be dandy. I didn't hit your weapons. You're gonna shoot me now, aren't you? Perfect. We, why, why, we, uh, we knocked out the worst thing ever, and then they shot us. Good. I'm gonna shoot over there then. No. You will not surrender. You will not- I shot this twice, and this didn't go down. Cloaking. Now you will rue the day. I'm gonna shoot over here, too. Yeah. Sucks, doesn't it? I'm just- I was, I was gonna beam one room. I was just about to beam one room. I was like, aha, I'll get you both. The ship explodes, giving you tons of scrap you don't have a use for. You encounter a refugee ship drifting in space. I want the, I want the halberd beam. We would be perfectly fine if we had a halberd beam. It looks as if it was fleeing the rebel advance and ran out of fuel. Its distress beacon is active, but you're not sure anyone's on board. The vessel is relieved to hear from you. They are running low on supplies. They suggest a trade. Once again, they ran out of fuel. They want to give us five fuel. Okay. Store... The Zoltan are fascinated by other species, and I've set up something of an alien knick-knack ship shop here. You have shields. I love that they have shields. So what I'm thinking is, we're going to buy the shields because we absolutely need them or we'll die. And then... Hmm, maybe not. No, 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 we have ten. I'm buying this too. Combat drones. Situationally helpful. I want to buy the scrap recovery arm. I was thinking about selling the titanium system casing because if we upgrade our shields, we won't get hit, so we won't need that, and that's 10% more scrap. But if I do that, I won't have enough to double upgrade the shields. So I... Oh, wait. We have this. So I'll throw that on there as well, actually. I was about to sell it, but then I was like, um... Never mind. Maybe I should, uh, have that or something. If I had just a bit more, we could get more damage or more defense. I would love to buy this defense drone. Sadly, we can't. We have lots of fuel. We don't need to fix it. Ship. We need lots of power now. However, our engines are already pretty much good. They only need one more upgrade. And we now have double shields. An unarmed Zoltan transport vessel is slowly making its way towards the beacon here. They hail. This is the Zoltan Peace Envoy. We carry no weapons or shielding and rely on the mercy of others to communicate our message. So we hear them out. We take your silence for interested contemplation. Please, spread the word. You go to quests and stuff. Distress? But that's in an asteroid field. I don't care about people in asteroid fields, because I'm getting achievements. I wanted to buy the clone bay as well, but also needed upgrade shields. Something strikes you odd as odd about the moon in the distance. A deep scan of the surface reveals a cave system that runs for miles, and what looks like a scrap heap left over from some heavy-duty construction. I thank you very much. I do appreciate these things that you have just given me. 
You arrive at the, lo the location specified by the peace-loving Zoltan. But the only thing nearby is a rebel ship. Closing in fast. We've found you. You're not getting away this time. Attempt to hail them. Uh, your rebellion. Uh, which one of these was it again? Causing millions of the deaths. Unity is the only option. Is not the right option. Ultimate destruction is... Yeah, no. I think it was this one. True progress cannot be achieved without bloodshed. Suddenly, all indications of the rebel ship fade away, and a Zoltan fleet appears around your ship. The captain of the ship you met previously materializes on your bridge. Although you're... Oh my god, really? Although your methods are crude, and most certainly ineffective, it is clear that you took our previous meeting to heart. If your ship represents the Federation's willingness to adapt, we shall do what you can to aid in their fight. This technology should aid you in your quest. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my god, t titanium weapon casing can go- system casing can go to hell! We've got long range scanners so we can see all the bad stuff coming. Stealth weapons so that we can do stealth things. We've got Zoltan shields! We got a Zoltan shield! Oh my god, we have a Zoltan shield! That- I- Hmm. I love it. Wait, where was the exit in this sector? You jump into a debris field. That used to be a Zoltan cruiser. Unfortunately, its Engi escort takes you for the attacker and retaliates. They refuse all hails. And you can't hurt them. And you can't hurt them. Hmm. Well, I'm glad our engines are this powerful then. I'm gonna just uh, cloak out of this real quick. Yeah, see, we could use the combat drone, but that would just get shot by this thing and never actually do anything. Because these things hard counter having combat drones unless you just flood them in. And we could only potentially have two, and that will stop our lasers. So we're basically just waiting to get out of here. Oh no you don't. The exit was up here. Okay, good. I thought I, I saw this distress and I was like, oh my god, was the exit like over here? We're screwed. But then we weren't screwed. Just kinda. A human ship hails! Ooh, defense drone. It's not a, it's not the rank two one though. Crew teleporter, backup DNA bank's nice. Mind control hacking. That's what we should get. Hacking. That also uses drone parts. But we've got... This will be the last system. I'm not going to do any boarding, obviously. And I don't feel like mind control is as good as hacking. So I think this... Yeah, okay. Okay. I'm going to sell that. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy hacking. And now, with our crappy weapons, we'll be able to... Wait, did you actually have better weapons? Did you have better weapons that I could have bought? No. Okay, it was just that stuff. I was like... I think I just made a mistake. We need better weapons. But then I didn't make a mistake. Who makes mistakes? Psh. You never saw glance at the windows, but the only thing to greet you is more silence. We need more scrap. I need lots more power. I need power in this. The Zoltan Shields, they just afford me so much extra time, though. Another unmanned ship patrols this area. You prepare the ship for combat. Hmm... Oh, it missed anyway, but I was going to be like, nope. And then it was going to be great, and you guys were all going to love it. Except for the part where that didn't actually happen. Anyway, I'm going to shoot over there, and then I'm going to mini-beam you. Because this mini-beam is all I can muster. Even when this cloaking fails, I will be protected by the shields of the Zoltan. Ah, uh, victory is now assured. The Zoltan shields held. I feel like I should get the achievement for killing them before my Zoltan shield falls. I need that on the Nisasio. My life will be complete. I stopped. I, I kept clicking on these again. I just remembered the last episode I said I was going to start using the... I, I, you know what? I like clicking on them. You're wrecked. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap materials. You take the scrap materials, and you only buy a single point of power, but that single point of power affords you drones. And then you have to leave. 
I can't believe we got Zoltan Shields. I love Zoltan Shields. You arrived at the long range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. Will you begin charging up your FTL drive and do a quick scan of the local planet? You find the ruins of a recently destroyed Federation colony on the surface. There must be a rebel ship in the vicinity. You quickly find the rebel ship's location. Like, just, just thinking about the final fight. We've got cloaking that we can attack through and not break. They have cloaking too. So we can also stop their stuff, but we got, we, we've got, ooh, this is going to help so much. Their first round of missiles, we'll be able to do stuff about that. You have double shields. Wow. That used to be such a concern for me, but isn't really at all now. Huh. I guess we didn't really end up using the combat drone. I mean, it's still nice to have. Maybe someday we'll use it. We just need more power. I just can't, I can't, I can't afford the power. Costs are just too expensive nowadays. So, I'm gonna let you shoot that burst laser. And I'm a cloak. And then I'm gonna drain you. And with your drain now drained, I'm going to laser you in such a way that I hit all of these rooms. Yeah, so they lost Alara shields. And it keeps them... I love that it keeps them in this room. Or out of this room. Their weapon's broken because they're too expensive. The enemy ship appears to be running away. Not today. The ship repeatedly hails you. It looks like they want to surrender. Really? Because it, it kind of looks like they're just putting out a fire right now. I don't know if they even remember that we exist. They're completely ignoring us. Oh, did you just... Oh, he didn't die in a fire. Oh, and you still have two health. I guess I'll have to kill you with the laser. Oh, is dying. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. I don't know why I just imagined, like, social media, like, an update. What's Ohm doing right now, dying? Uh... Power. That's right. I wanted... I wanted power. I'm mad with power. Uh, actually, maybe I should save this. Because we have super shields, I don't need to have this on all the time just yet. So maybe I'll use the combat drone sometimes. Slug-controlled nebula or slug-controlled nebula. God, all the choices. But if I'm gonna go to this one, then I have to go to this one. If I go to this one, what if I wanna go to this one? See, see, look at all the options that gray out if we go up there. It's ridiculous. We have to go this way. This nebula is home to the telepathic slugs. They'd sell their own slime for a crate of scrap, but they much prefer to just take it. Yes. A slug captain hails and invites himself aboard your ship to present a flask of something slimy. Now, most gracious captain, you must join me in a drink to our alliance. Uh, I'm gonna have to refuse. If I drink and somebody dies, I'm screwed. The slug feigns offense at your refusal. But you sense that he respects your caution. This does not, however, prevent him from returning to his ship and opening fire. Hmm, I see. You don't have any way of getting oxygen back. You're completely, like, screwed if that breaks. You don't have a medbay either. This ship is, like, the most easily destroyed ship I've ever seen in my life. So I'm gonna let you shoot and waste that missile. Then I'm just gonna cloak. We're gonna activate this so that this drains out. And I'm going to repeatedly shoot it. Thank you for having your weapons so close to the shields, by the way. Okay, if you want to leave that on, I mean, that's fine. You just leave the useless one on. Fire! You have bested us. Will you accept what is in our stores in exchange for our lives? I'm sorry, you didn't just offer me an anti-bio beam. Or actually... Don't I have to let them live to see that? An anti-bio beam would be neat right now. They transfer a meager amount of material. There, now keep your word. What a bunch of jerks. I should have never even trusted them. Never trust a slug. You explore around the beacon and are shocked when the rock... When a, when a rock the size of a small moon suddenly looms ahead of you, scans reveal the solid-looking rock is just a husk, almost entirely mined of useful materials. 
Sounds like the Lanius were here. The slug. Oh, right. Wait. Oh, we don't have oxygen? Slugs use a tactic you hope you never see. They use a remote hacking satellite to sabotage your oxygen production. The system. Or the accident. Put <laughs> your oxygen production system and then charge fire weapons. You're gonna suffocate. I No, actually, I can't do that. I have to hack their shields, otherwise I have no hope of ever getting through them. We are not in a fun place right now. I'm gonna not let you do that. And then I'm gonna drain this, and we're just gonna fire everything we got over here and hope for the best. No! Okay, that time didn't work. We are in trouble. We are in a lot of trouble. We're probably going to end up running. Ooh, thank you for missing. Well, yeah, we're probably going to end up running. Nope, couldn't do it, sorry. No oxygen means that we're eventually, like, I don't have time. A slug teleports from nowhere onto the bridge. Before you can open fire, he spreads his wares across the helm. I didn't realize that was the store. Oh my god, hull repair is such an awesome thing to have later on. That's such an awesome thing to have. I don't have anything to sell either. The amount of stuff I would have to sell to get that. Eternal sadness. I don't even, I don't have enough to, I didn't realize this was the store. Ah, that was a waste of a jump. I might need to go back there though. Hall repair is freaking sweet. You're surprised to find a ship without slug markings stranded all the way out here, and move into a provide assistance. When you see the pirate insignia on the hull, you quickly reconsider, and attack. I need to upgrade this really bad. So... Fire! Nope. You're not getting through today. And also shoot there. That slows down their weapons as well. I don't know if I want to waste this. Like, we only have eight rounds of hacking. It would be awesome to have extra damage in there. Hmm, if a laser goes off again. Wait, we can prevent a laser from going off again. Nope, we didn't actually. Okay. You have clearly bested us. We merely request our lives. You're asking for too much. If you could, uh... Is that... Why was it not powering up? It didn't look like it was getting any closer to shooting. You guys kind of died a little bit. Ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap materials. If I'm going to use this, I need it to actually work. Imagine that. We can now get through the triple shields much easier. This also means I probably blew the hull repair since we won't be able to get enough in time. Pump extra power in your sensors and try to track them. A heavily damaged Federation ship is hiding in the nebula at this beacon. Before you have time to make contact with them, they fade into the nebula. Your local radar flickers periodically showing signs of a large object in the clouds nearby. However, it's not enough to get coordinates and you find the ship. An empty hull, long since stripped of functioning components. Is the game taunting me? What the hell is this 84? No, I think I need it. Yeah, I think I need it. I'm much more likely to use this defensively than I am to use this. Hall repair. I'm much more comfortable with this. Combat drones were, were going to be the Tetragon run. I, I looked at that thing. It starts with the Defense Scrambler. I feel like the Defense Scrambler is like a requirement now. This beacon marks a small gap in the nebula. No colonies or ships in scanning distance. If I'm gonna get out of here... Yeah, if I go here, then I go down, I'll get caught. I can't go to this store. A slug ship hails you. We've detected some worrying radiation coming from your medical unit. Perhaps you should take a look. As he signs off, your system shuts off and the crew teleports aboard from a nearby station. They don't look like engineers. They must have super shield... They must have a super shield bypass unit. Borders are on board. Can with remote hacking? No. I need to get I need that to get through their shields. 
We don't have a med bay. But that also means that since I'm not going to use the hull repair, there's no reason for me to not just leave this in the shield. So that's kind of nice. I am going to shoot this at your shields because I do believe we will be able to get through three layers of shields now. What room are you guys in? You're in the med bay? Okay. If only our sensors worked. Oh, you're going into that room? How oh, unfortunate. Uh, I'm so glad it lasts longer, too. I'm just gonna cloak that, and then I'm just gonna drain that. And especially since we started draining sooner, I expect better results. I'm gonna hit right over here. Good, they lost that. That's gonna make it take longer to get through. These will do two damage each, which is still a problem. But we hurt their shields. Enough so that the mini beam could not. Nah, they're probably gonna fix that beforehand. How about I just open? Oh, they were already dead. Okay. And they didn't break anything, you don't say. Could you possibly both hit? Oh, why, thank you very much. I'm just gonna undo some of what you just fixed. Oh, you're down to single shields? Delightful. Yeah, drain that out. I'd still hit the shield, actually. Wrecked. If the fire destroys this system, they... Ooh, it got him. We got him. The slug ship breaks apart and your system's return to normal. You collect what you can. That seems like a little bit more than what we can. It seemed pretty great, actually. Did I have something else I wanted to dump scrap into? Fully upgrading this would mean that nothing would be able to get through us, but I don't think anything's going to have more than triple shields, at least for the next couple sectors, so there's no more reason to do that. We have enough power to get both weapons, we have the power to use the drone stuff. Um, They're not even getting through our Zoltan shields. Our Zoltan shields are life. Upgrade each of these, upgrade each of these. And power. So now we have a floating power. If we get one more, we'll actually have those double shields. Yeah, and probably end this at the end of the nebula. Your sensors are no match for the slug's telepathic abilities. A ship you never even saw opens fire from astern. A ship you never... Oh, I, I added a VE there. They have a halberd beam. Ooh. They must mean serious business. It's unfortunate that they're on, like, the worst ship in the game. I'm gonna drain that out. And then you're gonna try and halberd beam me. And I'm going to cloak. And annihilate your shields. Ah, but you still have the halberd beam, so you will get through. Oh, wait. My cloaking, it lasts forever. And you lost the charge on that. And you lost your oxygen as well. You have bested us. Will you accept what is in our stores in exchange for our lives? I don't know about that. See, you're kind of... Everything's already... Hmm. They're never going to get any more oxygen. Maybe we should just let them burn. I think Kremity will be able to put that out, actually. Unfortunate. Yeah, with the help from friends. I don't know that I really just want to... Well, I mean, I know I want to just sit around here and wait for them to die, but that would make for boring. So you're going to blow up now. Ship explodes. I can't make it up there, but I could make it down here. Yeah, let's do this extra one. Cloaking to stay hidden. Pa. Your ship emerges quite far away from the beacon. You see a rebel ship waiting nearby. Undoubtedly stationed to look for you. Well, I guess I'm just going to have to hack your shields? Where are your shields at? There they are. Oh, that's right! You can't... They can't hack me when I have super shields! I completely forgot about that! These are like... This is like the best augment in the game. That's just super nice. Nope. I don't need to cloak this, but I can, so I will. What should I break on your ship? You have drones, probably repair drones. Yeah, let's just go for the shields. Let's just go for the shields. And a solid four damage there. Oh, your hacking only had one power. And you're burning. 
Mort, you're not supposed to burn to death. The enemy ship appears to be powering up its FTL. It's trying to escape. Yeah, good luck with that. The day is yours. Show your honor by allowing us to leave with our lives. No. Nope. I don't know what kind of food honor is, but uh, never heard of it. Dead. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap materials. Mm, we don't even need triple shields yet. That's insane. We don't even have the power for double shields. How is this working? I'm gonna put... You know what? We got double shields now. Woo! Wait, did I buy an extra power? Alright, I only need one. Whatever. We've got super oxygen. I'll never drain our oxygen now. This ship is really cool. You've arrived at the long range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump the next sector. An unidentified ship is badly damaged and still being assaulted by a space pirate. The victim begins a distress message until the pirate cuts in and offers to split the bounty if you sit tight. The pirate ship stops its pursuit and locks weapons onto your ship. I see. They also have the Zoltan shields. I guess I will just have to mini beam them and dual laser them. Jet's decided to say hi to my house. Anyway, we're cloaking now. And their super shields are gone, which means we're going to target this, and we're canceling these. They cannot charge the weapons up anymore, which is why I did this. I don't want their I don't want the super shields to run out. And now we're going to come over here. And we're going to shoot the crap out of their weapons. I will also hit the shields because reasons of lasers, but I need them to not do terrible things to me. Fine, our previous offer was not generous enough. Let's improve it. While six fuel is an improvement, I reject your offer. They are going to get through our super shields. I think that's the first time since we've gotten them that such a thing has happened. But we also have double shields, so they're still pretty, uh... We, we were ready for this, let's just say. We were ready. Only because this was not easy, but still. I'm going to cloak again, because I can, and it lasts a really long time. And... I'm gonna shoot here. And I'm gonna shoot here. And they're gonna have one health left. Please, just finish. No. Jet's doing jet things. There we go. Thank you. The pirate ship explodes, leaving behind substantial stuff. Thank you for the aid. I'm an arms dealer, and that, that usually only works with the rebels, but considering the circumstances, I will make an exception. We already have hull repair. Lol. Creates a super shield barrier periodically. Does this stack with our super shields? Wow. That'd be cool. We're pretty lacking in the crew department, though. I know we, we don't really use much of it, but uh, it would be really nice to actually have someone on weapons. I think we're going to get a slug. Backup battery, clone bay. Yeah, I want a slug. We have gone far too long without having someone on weapons. So, next time... We are going to go to this rebel-controlled area. Thank you guys very well, I guess we already went there. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you liked it. Later, everybody.